What's up, guys? Welcome to the clean portion of the quail catch clean cook. Uh, we got Tim is gonna skin one of these. We got uh, two quail that we uh, took from the hunt, but the 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 uh, people who clean them will clean the rest. They uh, work in a barn, so take it away, Tim. Nice. All right. So what we got here is a quail. One of the many quail we killed today. Now what I like to do is basically. I'm gonna pull it out. All right, I'm not sure if YouTube's gonna let us show this part, okay. but it's quite simple. You stick your fingers in and you dig all those guts out and you make sure that you don't leave the lungs in. All right, and then you wash it, but other than that. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go wash and clean it up, but you have a nice, perfect little quail, and we'll show you what they look like fried. <sighs> we'll show you what they look like fried tonight. Peace. Y'all just saw Tim do a beautiful job of cleaning those quail. And now we're going to make our marinade. So the first thing we're going to start off with is honey. But this is not normal honey. Yes, this honey is made on the promised land. That's right, our Mississippi, our duck place over there. Which y'all have seen very many videos come from. So we're going to start. I'm sure I'm going to have to tear off. Yep. That's the only thing about opening any new seasonings. Yada yada yada, you gotta move that little thing. You know what? I'm just gonna put a bunch of honey in there. Then we are gonna take uh, some Dustin Poirier's Louisiana style KO edition hot sauce. This is actually not the one I want. Give me, give me one second. Ah, I meant to grab the red habanero. Show, me, show me what it is. The red habanero. Because that's Mo Betta for marinades and stuff. Then y'all already know what's going down. Baron Berton's W sauce. I put this stuff on anything and it is the greatest thing for anything. It makes everything better. The greatest thing for anything. <laughs> it makes everything Mo Betta. And... and now we just got some normal barbecue sauce. What is that? I don't know this brand. Jack's Jack Stack Barbecue. This one. Now this is a little secret step, and it doesn't really help the flavor of the marinade, but it does help when you're actually cooking the quail. Minced garlic and all those little garlic. Things. All that minced garlic gets all over your quail. Actually, I still need this. And it just makes it no better, as I would say. Huh? And, like I said, it just makes everything mo better. So, now, you give this a little stir. Oh, yeah. Look at it all. Look at that. Mm. Happiness in a sauce. Tell y'all what, this is honestly one of my favorite marinades. I did this marinade, uh, I've only done this marinade once, and I did it the last time I did quail. It's not like barbecuey. It's it's just it's just awesome. So finish stirring this, then we'll see y'all when the quail finish defrosting. We gonna give them a shake in here, then we gonna put them on the grill. Also, we're deboning the quail before we do all that. So. All right, guys, so we're going to show you all how to debone one of these quail, kind of. So what Tim's going to start by doing is cut off the leg and the thigh. It's very simple, and it helps to have a knife that is sharper than sharp. As you can see, you just find the joint, and then you just cut it. Then, pretty straightforward to breast it, 
is just gonna find that little breastbone and cut it off. Again, like I said, it helps you have a knife that is sharper than sharp. Sharp knife is definitely the key. It makes everything. Which is also why I'm using my Danko seven inch blade. Um, look guys, when I tell you, you do not have to sharpen one of these at all. You, all you do is just like take it out the package, wash it off and use it. And that's actually what we did with this one. It and comes that. in the package that sharp. What do you think? It's Jeff? pretty impressive. I mean, it's like butter. It's cutting through butter. My butter cutter is actually what I call that knife. My butter cutter? My butter cutter. I lost my old one that I was filleting trout with. The butter cutter. Think. Bite of, bite of joy right there. Look how white that meat is. It? it really is. Wow. Wow. It's so soft, too. Like, I can just, I'm squeezing through it. All right, so we'll finish these up, and we'll see y'all later. Later. Oh. later. We're going to throw them in the marinade, then we're going to throw them on the grill. I am so excited about this. This cooking, guys. Quail is actually like grilled quail. One of my favorite things to eat easily. So. Damn. Peace. See y'all later. All right, guys. So we have all of our beautiful deburned quail. We got the breasts, and we also got the legs, and we got the marinade, which I hope oh. y'all haven't forgotten. So we're just gonna. As usual, throw that in there. And dump that in there. Now, like we always do, see you. Good. And give it a shake. Favorite step of cooking. <laughs> How long you let it marinate for? Oh, about a... Uh, I don't know about overnight I guess about 24 hours and where are we gonna cook it I'm gonna cook it right here Ooh, that's a perfect marinade mm. 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 yeah we're gonna cook it on like a little electric grill and it's gonna be very good so we'll see y'all there what's up guys we got the electric grill going we got it pretty darn high just gonna take a piece of happiness. And I'm just gonna slap it on there. Slap it on there. Just got it at about uh, 450, this electric uh, grill. Oh yeah. I'm not putting them on any particular side. I am just throwing them down. So. You may have you put them down? Yeah. All right, guys, so we have just finished flipping all of them. Yes, that one's a little burnt. Don't worry, don't worry. Tim can still eat it. I will eat it. Mm. Tim will eat it. They're looking beautiful. Guys, literally. Not even, what, a minute? Probably a minute and a half, maybe. Maybe is what you want to cook these for. Because, I mean, look how small they are. I'll tell you what. They're very good. Okay, guys, so we've got the heat stand in there. Got them all flipped. They're looking beautiful. And I mean, you don't want to cook these, but for about three minutes, maybe. Like, that's like your max. Like, I do probably two minutes on the breast, three minutes on the legs. That's usually perfect. I'll tell you what, though. They're looking good. All right, here we have our beautiful grill breast. I mean, look at that. Oh, well, let's try this quail breast. On the electric grill, Oh my god. No, it's not overcooked. It's still very juicy. Looks perfect. Dude. This is so perfect cooked. So tender. I mean, look. 
like four chews and it's down the pipe like this is honestly makes it in the top five best things we've ever not the best thing but top five of the best things we've ever cooked on this channel mm -hmm. cool. sam what do you think i think they're awesome dude i don't know if y'all could did better with this i think i like a fried though they I'm with you. Fry. I like the fry one. It's hard to beat the fry ones. Mm -hmm. But this is hard to beat as well. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what kind of content y'all want to see more of. As always, catch clean cooks. And I think that's it. So, excuse me. We're out. <laughs>